is one for three when it comes to these Spider-Man, well, Spider-Man lists spinoffs. But the first Venom did so well that they're not giving up. They feel they can make lightning strike again. Uh, and the second Venom, you know, it did okay financially, even though uh, I think all of us were like, oh, wow. Even those of us who liked the first Venom were like, what happened? And then when you add to that how Birds of Prey and now the Marvels have both flopped, it would seem that there are so many strikes against Madam Web. But let's see this thing. We comic book fans are, are an optimist. Well, we're both optimistic and very pessimistic. But let's see this thing. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to be optimistic. Hey, come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. Oh, is he on the ceiling? Let's try that again. A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. Didn't Loki just do all this? Today, okay? Trying to save people who were running out of it. Daddy! Until one moment changed everything. Come on! Welcome back to Full Hand Level Living. I don't understand what's happening. I've been having visions. I knew he was gonna die. I think I'm seeing the future. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. What do you want from me? They take the Spider-Man ripoff costume on. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. Loki just did this. This is crazy. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill you. What? Who are you? What is going on? I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's <laughs> not how it works. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. What? Wait, I recognize you. You live in my building. You're Did the you're... paramedic. Well, yeah, you almost ran me over. You don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly what? like the least weird thing that's happened all day. What do you want from me? This ripoff like Spider-Man is driving me crazy. Why don't you Oh yeah, they'll get costumes. Into the future. This looks like the Halle Berry Catwoman movie, He's which has some fans these days. Julia, get down! Your future was almost so different. If you want to live, you have to trust me. Also, seeing the future, what does that have to do with the web? You know, you would think these things are all, I guess they are all connected, so. Maybe a little. So that kind of works. That seems like a Saturday Night Live sketch to me. I don't know, you guys like Deco. I mean, I, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of people in the comments were like, that looks good, what are you talking about? But I mean, like, really? Really? Let's look and see their little costumes. They're really quick. Uh... So that one, you know, Sydney Sweeney kind of looks like a Catwoman ripoff. Oh, she's hanging upside down. I was like, does she have like big giant bat ears? No, she's hanging upside down. But why is there, why does she not have the side, why is the side of the mask cut out? Um, yeah, so you got, I don't, I don't know. It's a shame because some of these female characters are kind of cool in the comics, but now that they're all in this movie together, they're just going to get all dismissed. Uh, and wasn't this supposed to be about like, saving Peter Parker's parents or something? Isn't that, you know, that was the rumor? Um, I don't know, maybe that's gonna, I mean, if that was the, the case of what your movie was about, why wouldn't that be in the teaser trailer? I mean, why would you save the most interesting thing about it? And then this knockoff Spider-Man guy, they cast an actor who looks like Aaron Taylor Johnson to me, um, who of course is Craven, who was attacked by a lion. But, uh, I mean, so, yeah, I'm curious. Do some of you think this looks like it's good? I mean, I think it just looks really cheap. 
and uh, a disservice to the Spider-Man brand. Uh, which is really doing very well in other areas right now, like from the from the live action movies to the Spider Verse animated movies to the upcoming, um, I mean the game that just came out, which is hugely successful. And they just announced the other day that they're doing a Miles Morales Peter Parker comic book where they're going to team up, and Greg Wiseman is writing it. And Spider Man fans got that trending top ten. That was incredible. Uh, you never see comic book stuff trend that high, like specific, like comic books, not like a movie or TV show based on them. So that just shows you where Spider-Man mania is right now. And, you know, all this money and energy should be going into doing a live action Morales. This other stuff, I think, is a waste of everybody's time. Uh, and it's contributing to superhero fatigue because there's just too many of these movies. Uh, all right. So what did you think? What did you think? There were rumors like Kevin Feige was maybe involved in this. I would be very surprised. Uh, so what did you, th although these days, who knows? So what did you think? Share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.